watching me? You came for a chicken wing? and welcome back to my channel. So if you guys couldn't already tell by the title of this video, today we are filming the much anticipated Q&A. I decided to do it just like I did my first Q&A mukbang style, but I figured it'd be kind of cool so we could see the progression and how far we've come, if we haven't come at all. So I'm literally doing it in the exact same spot that I did my first Q&A, and if you guys haven't seen my very first Q&A, it's a little awkward, it's a little cringy, I'm just warning you right now. I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards so you guys can watch it. Before we get started, I just wanna introduce myself really quickly. My name is Essence, I'm a 25-year-old fashion content creator in Arizona. Obviously, this isn't a fashion video, but I'm kind of venturing out and doing other types of videos, more get-to-know-me style videos and everything but my passion is mainly centered around fashion, styling, all that good stuff. So if that sounds like something you're into, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can join the squad. And then also hit that bell notification so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. I've already kind of looked at some of the questions and they are absolutely hilarious. So I feel like we're gonna have a real good time with this. Uh, if you guys are wondering what I'm eating, I got Barros pizza. And what I got was pepperoni pizza. Caleb already ate the other half of it. This is my half. And then I also got hot wings. These are boneless hot wings. Let me know if you guys like boneless or bone-in hot wings. I kind of switch between both. And then I also have ranch here and blue cheese and celery. I freaking love celery. I have to have celery with my hot wings. Also comment down below if you guys are a ranch or a blue cheese person when it comes to eating hot wings and pizza. I already know a lot of y'all gonna say ranch, but we just not even gonna go there. Some of my East Coasters will agree with me that blue cheese is better. I just know it. I just know it. But y'all can fight me in the comments. I'll wait. Okay, so the first question um, is, how are you so gorgeous? No, I would like to take all of the credit for myself, but honestly, I feel like it is a combination of really good genetics and skincare. Um, just taking care of your skin and then... You know, I get it from my mama. My mama's cute, so I'm cute. My daddy cute. We are cute, okay? And my next question is, were you nervous to start YouTube? Girl, I'm still nervous to start YouTube. And I'm just playing, but absolutely. Getting on the internet is completely nerve-wracking. Getting on the internet, trying to be yourself, and hoping people don't judge you for it, it's a nerve-wracking-ish. But honestly, the more I do it, the more comfortable that I get with doing YouTube. So the more videos that I post, the more things that, you know, I talk about that I love, the more comfortable I get with doing it. So yes, I was completely nervous to start, but the progression and as I keep going, I just keep falling in love with it. And it's just, it's so much fun to me. This is my creative outlet. The next question is favorite color. This is a hard question. I have a lot of favorite colors. But I would have to say my like staple favorite colors, I really like pink. I like black. If gold is considered a color, that's my absolute favorite color. Would you rather have hands for feet or feet for hands? I think I'd rather have hands for feet because I can't pick up a lot of things with my feet, but I can pick up quite a bit of things with my hands. So I think it would be even more helpful to have another set of hands than it is to have another set of feet. But if I had feet for hands, I'd probably be super fast. I'd probably be able to like run on all fours. Yeah, that would be terrifying. What was your dream job growing up? Growing up, my dream job was to be a flight attendant. But that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to travel and get on the plane and be gone 24-7, see beautiful destinations and not have to pay to get to the beautiful destinations. So I figured a flight attendant would be the perfect thing to do it. Um, so yeah, that was my dream job when I was growing up. Like, spiel, they say when you get on the plane, I have my little mask. Doop, doop, doop. I was like, please buckle your seatbelts to prepare for takeoff. 
If you could live anywhere else, where would you live? Honestly, I'm not super picky. As long as, one, I can afford the rent. And two, there's a beach. You only get to watch one movie from each genre for the rest of your life. What are they? From comedy, it would have to be Finding Nemo. Romance would definitely be The Notebook. I love that movie. I quite literally can't think of a horror movie that I wouldn't mind watching for the rest of my days. Like, I just won't watch that many scary movies. If I think of one though, I'll get back to you. What inspired you to start your YouTube channel? Honestly, a lot of things inspired me to start my YouTube channel. Um, but the main reason that I started it is because I feel like I have so much to offer in the sense of affordable fashion because I feel like a lot of people on here can tell you how to dress really nice but the outfit is like expensive. I can tell you where to get expensive pieces but no one can really tell you how to look damn good on a budget where it was lacking affordable fashion that you can make look luxury. And I was like, boom, I'm gonna slide right in there. YouTube channel, a big part of it was Caleb, my boyfriend. He really kind of like pushed me to do it. He was like, hey, listen, you gonna stop talking about doing it and just do it. What is the single most important thing you learned as a child? And how has that been incorporated into, and then it cuts off. So I'm guessing like into my life now. Um, the single most important thing don't be afraid to cut people off like you can only give so much to a person like be a good friend be a good person but don't let people take advantage of you where do you see yourself in five years as it relates to youtube and instagram so in five years i see myself on youtube flourishing thriving and successful whether that be with fashion or whether that be with advice whether that be you know giving you my experiences and sharing them with you whatever that may be with whatever that looks like i just want to inspire positivity and just be just be myself be an outlet for people and be a resource for people what is the best and worst purchases you've made i could never be a financial planner because they would come to me and be like yeah so i can't really afford these shoes but like i really want them and i'd be like girl you only live once get the shoes if you were a cocktail which one would you be? So I don't really drink cocktails, but if I was a cocktail, I think I would be, um, me and Caleb talked about this earlier. I think I would be a cosmopolitan, a Cosmo, is that what you call it? Because it's like, I think it was vodka, cranberry, lime, and like orange juice or orange liqueur. And I think I would be that because like, vodka, cranberry is like the most basic drink you can order. And I'm a little bit of basic, but I got a little like, Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. are you in school for anything right now or are you focusing on youtube oh girl i wish i could just focus on youtube but girl these bills got to get paid so right now i did just get accepted to a respiratory therapy program um and so i'm just kind of waiting for that to start in august and then and i'm still trying to decide if i want to do that or if i want to do kinesiology or like movement because i was in school for sports therapy and sports medicine and that's still kind of my passion but i wanted to see what respiratory was like so what is the hardest part of starting youtube i think the hardest part of starting youtube is starting realizing that you don't need a bunch of fancy equipment that you don't need a bunch of backdrops and a filming like you don't need a whole lot of things just to start and you learn things as you go and if you're really invested into something you do research on it and you figure it out so be my sugar baby yes ma'am my uh cash app will be linked down below in the description box when are you getting the bbl i'll be getting the bbl as soon as you deposit that money into my cash app do you like feet or hands um i'm not opposed to feet or hands um i do prefer my own feet and hands opposed to everybody else's if you could spend a day with a celebrity who has passed who would it be Honestly, someone who has passed that i would have loved to meet or spend time with or even just get to sit down and talk with is cicely tyson i mean she was a pioneering black actress for so long and doing something that hard just it, it inspires me being in the industry of 
entertainment is hard in itself and then yet to be a black woman and be successful at it like she's a bad bitch what do you do for a living i am an optometry technician and receptionist and then i also do doordash and then i also work at a jewelry kiosk the last question on here is can you have my babies I said what I said. All right, guys, so that is going to go ahead and end my q and I hope that you guys kind of got to learn about me a little bit more and that this video was as fun for you guys to watch as it was for me to film. I would love to do more videos like this where I just sit down and talk to you guys. So if you guys have any suggestions or any more questions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. And then one more time, if you guys aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then hit the like notification and the bell. That really helps out my channel, lets me know that you guys like the content I'm creating and it helps me want to create more. Give me a little inspiration, girl. Hit the subscribe booty. But yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say except for I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.